Hello everybody, this is Steven with American Aquarium Products, and today we'll be talking about how to set up your TMC fluidized sand filter. This is a great filter for both freshwater and saltwater aquariums, and we highly recommend it. The first thing you want to do is determine the intake and the return. This is the intake, this is the return. Here are the parts that come with the filter. In this demonstration, I'm going to show how to mount the filter on the side of a aquarium or a sump. Additional tubing will be required if you have the filter in your cabinet. First, you want to cut a piece of tubing to size and secure it tightly with a hose tail lock nut. The size of this piece of tubing depends on how far the water has to travel to the aquarium or sump. Next, you will want to attach a 90 degree hose barb. My suggestion is to heat the tubing and use Vaseline on the hose barb in order to get a clean, tight fit. Next, you want to place just enough tubing on the end of the elbow so you can attach the supplied valve. You will want to take off the lock nut and put it on the tubing. After this, you place the valve on the tubing and then tighten the lock nut. You will want to do the same thing for the other side. This next piece is to connect to your pump, so make sure it's long enough. We are now going to change our focus to the return. Again, you're going to want a piece of tubing, cut to size, lock it down with a hose tail lock nut, add a 90 degree hose barb, this next step you can customize as you please. I decided to use a long piece of tubing and a suction cup so I can attach the tubing to the aquarium wall. You can also use the supplied plastic parts to make your return. Next we are going to add the supplied rock and sand. You want to cover the inlet pipe with your finger then add the rock. After adding the rock, you want to add the sand. Slow and steady is best because the sand can make a mess. Now it is time to put your filter on your aquarium or sump. To ensure your filter is secure, use the two securing screws. Next, we are going to add our pump and pre-filter. In this demonstration, we are using a Rio Plus pump and a ATI filter max. For this filter, you are required to have proper flow and a sponge pre-filter. Make sure you squeeze all the air out of your sponge. You will want your return flow just above the water surface to prevent any backflow. Now that everything is set up, plug in your pump and slowly open the valve. You will want to keep a slow flow rate while the filter is filling up with water to prevent kicking up sand into the aquarium. Once the filter starts fluidizing, you can get a feel for how much you should have the valve open. Once bacteria ages in the filter, you will be able to increase the flow. This concludes my video tutorial on how to set up your fluidized sand filter. Again, my name is Steven from American Aquarium Products. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Have a nice day.